Hi, everyone. I am Chong from Princeton University. I am presenting our patch guard paper, a defense against adversarial patches that is provably robust. To start with, I believe most of you are familiar with adversary example. Given an input image, an attacker tries to add some imperceptible perturbation to generate the adversary example for test time model misclassification. The perturbation's delta can be generated by maximizing the loss between modal output and ground truth table. This attack imposes a threat to our machine learning models. However, this attack requires to perturb the entire image, which might be invisible in some real-world application. In this paper, we focused on a variant called localized adversarial patch. The idea is to put all perturbations within one local region to generate a patch, and we allow the patch pixel to take any values. Here are some examples. Patches are perceptible, but perturbations are localized. The most interesting thing is that this attack is realizable in the physical world. An attacker can print and attach the patch to the victim object, and this imposes a real-world threat a threat we as a security community want to mitigate. Furthermore, we assume the patch can be anywhere on the image and the patch size should be reasonable, do not block the entire object. Knowing what the attack is, our defense objective is provable robustness for certified images. We have a procedure named the provable analysis, which takes the test image and threat model as inputs. Its first output is a prediction label, and the second output, which is more important. We want our procedure to tell us, my prediction will never change. In this case, if the prediction label matches the ground truth, we can argue that our model prediction is always correct, no matter what an attacker does, and we can certify this image. Of course, there are some cases we cannot say anything for sure, then we will evaluate our defense using the provable robust accuracy. That is the fraction of the test images that are correctly classified and provably robust to any adaptive attacker within the threat model. The attacker can know about our defense and have access to our model parameters. In our paper, we propose the patch guard as a general defense framework for provable robustness. The idea of patch guard is to prevent the localized patch from dominating the global prediction. It has two modules. The first is to use small receptor view to bound the number of corrupted feature. Then we do secure feature aggregation on the partially corrupted feature for a robust prediction. Start with the small receptor view. The receptive view is a region of the input image that an extracted feature is looking at. Here, the first feature looks at the left corner, or left top corner of the image, and the remaining feature looks at the different part of the image. We call each feature a local feature because one each of them looks at part of the image instead of the entire one. Getting the local feature map we can aggregate them for our final prediction. The first step is to aggregate to get the global features. In conventional network, we can do average pooling. Here, I element wisely add everything together. Then we can use a classification layer to make the global prediction logic. In this example, we consider a binary cat versus dog classification. We predict a dog because it has high activation. Now, knowing what receptive view and local features are, our first key insight is that the receptive view size determines the number of corrupted features. Here, if we use a large receptive view, we will see all features see the adversarial perturbations and are corrected. Then there is little hope for us to make a robust prediction. On the other hand, if we use a small receptive view, Although the first feature is corrupted, the remaining ones do not see the perturbations at all, and they are intact. Here, only one feature is corrupted, and we made a major step towards robust prediction. In fact, we can show that 
The number of corrupted features is determined by the patch size, receptacle size, and the receptacle stride. A smaller receptacle gives fewer corrupted features. Now we know the small receptacle can bound the number of corrupted features. Next, secure feature aggregation. Going back to this example, although there is only one corrupted feature, the feature can have extremely large malicious values to dominate the feature aggregation and the final prediction. Then how can we limit this adversary effect? We propose to do secure feature aggregation and we propose an instance, robust masking to detect and remove those large values. Our robust masking leverage a concept named local logic. Just as we do global prediction based on the global feature, we can do local prediction based on each local feature. Here, by looking into different local features, we can get a different local prediction logics. And finally, the local logics map. I want to note that aggregating this local logics map gives us the same global prediction logics in conventional network. Then our robust masking is operating on the local logics map. Here we change the visualization from 3D to 2D. We move the top three by three elements to a three by three matrix and the bottom one to another matrix. Here, because we are using the local logics map, we will know each slice of this map corresponds to one class. And we call the elements of each slice, the class evidence for that particular class. Now let's talk about the algorithm. We know a small patch will corrupt a small windows of the local logics and potentially with large values. Then we want to detect and remove them. The first step, we clip all negative values to zero. We will see later why this is helpful. The core operation is to move a sliding window over each local logic slice. The size of window is determined by the number of corrupted feature. Here we use a one by one window. Then we calculate this class evidence sum within each window and mask the window with the highest sum. See some example for the cat feature map, we find it 30. For the dog, we find it 7. After masking them, we can recover the correct prediction. Here, the observation is that the adversary prediction is subject to our feature masking. On the other hand, the clean prediction finds 2, finds this 7. After masking, we still have the correct prediction. Now we have observed that the clean prediction is generally invariant to feature masking. Now we know how our defense works. Small reset field and secure feature aggregation. Robust masking. Then what about the provable robustness? Recall our provable analysis. It takes test image and a threat model and ground truth as the input to determine each image, whether each image can be correctly classified and provably robust. Now in our provable analysis, we need to reason about how the adversary can control the values within a small window to bypass our defense to cause worst case model prediction. We can have two claims here. First, the adversary cannot increase the malicious class evidence too much because a large values will be masked and we will have an upper bound for each class evidence sum. Second, the adversary cannot decrease the benign class evidence too much because we clip all negative values to zero and push them to zero is the best an attacker can do. Then we will have a lower bound. In our paper, we can formally show that we have bounds that applies for any attack strategy. Then with this theoretical result, going back to this example, we can calculate the lower bound and upper bound for every class. Here we find the lower bound of the dog is larger than the upper bound of any other class. Then we can say the prediction is always correct as dog, provably robust. Then if we try all possible patch location in the threat models and the same argument holds, we can say this image is certified. That is our provable robustness. In our, in our evaluation, we first worked on a 10 class subset of the ImageNet dataset. We show that the provable robust accuracy is nearly 87. That means for 87% of the test image, 
An attacker using a 2% pixel square patch anywhere on the image can never bypass our defense. Our prediction is always correct. The number for the 1,000 class image net is 26. That is for the top one. If we consider the top five accuracy, the number goes up to 57, which is still a decent number. Compared with prior works, we find we show the best defense performance. IBP does not work for ImageNet. Compared with CBN on 1,000 plus ImageNet, we have 5% and 19% accuracy improvement. Compared with DS, we have 10% and 12% accuracy improvement. Then we want to re-emphasize that patch guard is a general defense framework using small reset view and secure feature aggregation. We can show that two prior works are instances of our defense framework and also two following up work are using our ideas to show the strength of our defense. The limitation, the biggest limitation is that we need to use small reset view and it hurts the clean accuracy there is a trade-off between robustness and accuracy. How can we mitigate this trade-off is an interesting future work. The second limitation is that the masking operation requires additional parameters. How can we get rid of it? Finally, our takeaway. We propose a patch guard, a general defense framework using small reset view and a secure feature aggregation. Our defense is provably robust. That is, prediction is always correct. Finally, we achieve state-of-the-art defense performance in terms of clean accuracy and provable robust accuracy.